Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about installing the Synology Drive client on an iPhone. So if you go to your app store, you can search for Synology Drive and you'll see this Synology Drive here. And I have it already, I've already uh, gotten it. So it's just asking me to download, but you can hit um, get or click the little cloud if you already have it on other devices. And this will download it. And once you have it downloaded, you can open it. So you'll come up with this page and you'll want to enter in your uh, IP address or your Quick Connect ID for your NAS. I'm gonna use the IP address, but um, I would recommend using the Quick Connect ID if you are gonna be on the go and you want to use this outside of your local LAN. And then you want to enter your account and your password. And then you want to turn on HTTPS. Once you've done that, you can hit login and it'll ask if you wanna save password, I'm gonna say not now. And this should show all of the files on your uh, Synology drive. So you can open these up here. Now, I, when I try and open a movie, like I'll try and open this, I get this certificate is um, invalid, so I'll hit OK. You can click on the little icon in the upper left and go down to, uh, go up to the settings in the upper right, and then scroll down a bit and look for this play video over HTTP. So if you turn that on, and I'll hit done, then I can play this video here. So this, then you can just, uh, it seems to work. So if you want to add something here, you can click the little plus, and then you can choose like from albums, and it'll ask if it can have access to your photos, and you'll hit OK. And then you can click the photo you want. So I'll click on this here, I'll tag it, and then I'll say done. And now we'll upload to my drive. Okay, it's gonna take a while to show up. If you click on the upper left-hand corner, you can click on background tasks here, and you can see this is uploading this. Okay, that's completed, so if I go back to my drive now, I should see it on here, and here it is, the video. So now if I want to store something on my device, I can click on this picture here, and I can click the little dots in the upper right-hand corner, and I can say offline access, and this will copy it onto my phone. So if I click in the upper left again, and I'll go to offline access, you can see this picture is stored on my phone. So there's some other settings in here too. If we click the upper left-hand corner, we'll click the little gear. You can see the, um, you can log out here. Um, you can do uh, label management, has like labeling system cache management. So here you can change your cache limit, limit and it says configure the maximum cache size for images and files. So I have it set to 500 megabytes and right now I'm using 944 kilobytes. So you can adjust that and you can clear it. Um, I have this use cellular data. I have this off because I don't have an unlimited data plan. This could be important, um, this image auto convert. If you have a phone that uses the HEIF file, um, if you turn this on, it will convert that to JPEG uh, when it uploads it so you can access it on other systems that aren't compatible with HEIF. So, and we talked about the uh, HTTP already and then there's some other things at the bottom here. That's the basics of installing the Synology Drive on, a, on an iPhone. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.